Morning, everyone. Well, I'd just like to say uh, what a great couple of weeks we've had back. It, uh, it's brilliant weather. There's some fantastic work effort being applied, even in this fabulous weather. I think the behaviour and how smart you look, it's, it's all going very well. And I'm very pleased with the progress that uh, we are all making. I think that I have to give special recognition to all the staff and all the senior pupils at this particular time. Because as we know, we've moved into a period where instead of having exams, we are now still progressing with a lot of the learning, but we're also starting to do a lot of assessments. And that's a heavy workload. It's a heavy burden for both pupils and for our staff. And I think that by all accounts, from what I've heard from the principal teachers and from the deputy heads, that that is going well. So well done. Keep up that good work. Keep up that hard work. Because all that work that you are putting in just now will lead to you getting the grades that you thoroughly deserve in this very difficult year that you've had. Grades that you deserve because of all the work and all the effort has been put in, despite the obstacles that have been thrown at you. So I hope that you continue these uh, massive efforts required for the next few weeks and you get all the qualifications you deserve. So keep up the good work. And my thanks in particular to the staff that are ensuring that that happens. I'd like to uh, move on to uh, thank the SPLT in particular, because the SPLT, again, despite all the difficulties we face with being online and the fact that they've got uh, assessments and they're still going on with their courses, they are still taking the time to do their school civic duty and prepare uh, assembly items. So my thanks to the SPLT, and I'm going to pass over to them to lead the assembly, and then I'm going to close with a special announcement. So back over to you, Freya. Before we start the assembly, we just want to say a big thank you to everyone for all your work over the past few weeks. We've really enjoyed seeing everyone back in school. I will be talking about Sarah Everard. On March 3rd, 2021, Sarah was walking home from a friend's house in London when she went missing. A police officer in the local area was then arrested and charged with her kidnap and murder. He'd been reported the week prior for sexual harassment. What shocks many people. This particular murder brought so much media attention for many reasons. One being the popularity of the streets she went missing on and how many women similar to her walk them every day. Another was that the murder had already been reported but not charged for indecent exposure. The last being was that she took so many different methods to try and protect herself and her walk home, but unfortunately these didn't help. This event was so important to many people because it showed that sometimes just walking home can be unsafe. It proved that even in crowded areas, people can be singled out and targeted. It encouraged people to talk about keeping safe and the measures that can be taken to do so. It helped make people aware that even in places they know well and think are safe can often be the opposite. It also brought a huge sadness to many people across the country as she was just a young woman walking home from her house. Her friends, her name became a rallying cry for a broad move movement against long-standing violence against women in Britain. She is a symbol for all those who have been attacked, so many of whose cases have gone largely unnoticed. Me Too movement is an effect to change social behaviour through social media. It was originally founded in 2006 by Tar Tarana Burke, who is an American social activist. The Me Too movement works on empowerment through empathy by showing the world just how common sexual harassment is and by telling survivors that they aren't alone and they are supported. By sharing their own experiences, the movement supporters make clear just how common sexual harassment is. The hope is that if everybody was more aware of sexual harassment and more casual and how casual it sometimes is, then tolerance will decrease and support for victims will rise. It is impossible to stop all cases of harassment or assault, and it's never the victim's fault. However, there are some tips and measures related to safety you can take to reduce chances. Some tips when walking home alone in dangerous areas or at night when you are more at risk are to always stay alert and pay attention to your surroundings by avoiding distractions like loud music or looking at your phones. Staying in well-lit areas with people or business, businesses nearby to shout for help if you need it is also a good idea. Even walk, walking home with friends and having someone to call if you can help helps you. 
Carry self-defence tools or keychains or even self-defence alarms is also a good idea. And taking self-defence classes can also be a good idea if you want to feel even safer. One, run, one Million Miles was started by Adventure Oban with the aim to get outdoors as a community to help us feel more together during lockdown. You can gain miles in any way, such as walking, running, swimming or cycling, and then fill out the One Million Miles form on their website for your miles to be added to the total count. Submitting miles counts as towards clan points, so make sure you submit them if you're doing any kind of activity. Currently, Austin are in the lead, but the other clans follow closely behind them. This year's grades will be based on class assessments, which can be presented to the SQS evidence. This year's assessment timetable has started and will run until the end of May. We understand this can be a stressful time for many people. The best way to ensure you are well prepared is to take notes and course summaries and practice past papers. Also, remember to take breaks to remain focused and reward yourself. Good luck to everyone with assessments. Voting. Scottish Parliament election 2021. The Scottish parliamentary elections will take place on Thursday the 6th of May. Anyone over 16 is able to vote in the election. We are aware this is the first time for many of you to have voted. We have some key information to ensure you understand what will happen on the election day. How to vote. If you have signed up via post, then you will post your ballot paper. However, if you haven't, you should visit your local voting station on Thursday the 6th to place your vote. There's more information on the BBC website. You may have heard there's two votes. Yeah, you get two votes. One, to choose one MSP to rep Argyle and Butte. That's the constituency vote. And one, to choose a party or independent candidate to rep the Highlands and Islands. That's the regional vote. Why two? Because they are different. Uh, in the constituency vote, there's one seat, so one winner, and the loser gets nothing. In the regional vote, the multiple seats up for grabs are given out according to what percentage of the vote the candidates got. So the seven seats for the Highlands and Islands will be given out according to what percent of the total vote the candidates get. Uh, it's, it's a nifty, uh, who should I vote for article by the BBC. Uh, it's a good place to start because it gives you the bullet point breakdown of the parties. Um, but make sure to get information from multiple sources. Can I take the opportunity to say thank you to the SPLT for a very informative assembly. There was loads uh, jam-packed into that assembly and each of the items that were covered are, I think, hugely important to all of us. A couple are just for seniors, granted, but they are still signposts for what is coming for the junior pupils as well. I think highlighting the importance of uh, the Sarah Everard uh, murder, shocking murder, is really important because it highlights that there are dangers out in the, the big wide world. And I think that that important message and that guide on how to keep ourselves safe is very important for each of you to bear in mind. And whilst it's particularly important for women and girls to pay note of, given that particular case and given the unique dangers that women and girls face. I think boys have a lot to learn from that awareness of the dangers of crowded places and, and groups, the other older youths, etc. especially on a Friday night when drinks involved. Everybody uh, faces some level of danger, particularly women, but boys don't forget it's not only women and girls that face that danger. So everyone, please be careful when you're out in the streets, particularly at night, and follow the guide that was provided. It's very helpful. So well done, uh, my SPLT colleagues. The one million uh, miles, get your uh, get your votes in for that, or get your clocking up for that, because that could affect the clan challenge. I know that we've not been uh, so involved with clan challenge activities because of the pandemic and being out of school so much. So whenever you do get the chance to do something that can affect the clan points, then grass up with both hands. And it's good to see Ocean's ahead just now, but you never know who's going to creep up uh, behind them. Is it going to be Dermid who's going to claim the title of clan champions for the fourth year in a row? Or is Fingal going to re-emerge or Summerlid? Who knows? So take every chance you can. The assessments I had already covered at the beginning, and it was good to reinforce uh, the importance of that as well. And of course, we do have the elections next Thursday, and that was a nice wee summary of the importance of them and what the differences are, the two votes. I tend to find that a lot of youngsters don't bother, and I think that's a real shame. Your voice is important. It's important in the school, and it's important in the community, and it's important nationally. 
you may think that political parties and politicians are all boring and they're just people whining on in the telly and even adults think that as well. However, if you vote for whichever party, a party that has similar views to you, if you vote for them and their person gets in, then they will influence political decisions and laws, etc., that will support your desires in life. So it's really important that you do vote for whichever party you think uh, should be in power. Now, I'm going to turn to one last, uh, one last point, and that is, I'd like to say my biggest thanks of all of the day to Sam Martin. Sam Martin is leaving us today. It's his last day today, and he's going off to be a deputy head teacher up in Elgin, and we wish him all the very best. Sam has been a fantastic, a fabulous asset to the school since he joined us as a young teacher straight out of probation way back in August 2010. I appointed uh, Sam to the position of teacher of drama, if memory serves me right. If I got the date wrong, he's going to give me a doing. <laughs> I'm sure it's August 2010 because it's 10 years, more than 10 years that he's been here. And in that time, he's grown to be a fantastic principal teacher, not just a teacher of drama, but a principal teacher of drama, and grown even further into being a senior leader responsible for many departments, because he's a principal teacher of expressive arts, covering uh, drama and music and art. He's currently, of course, acting as the deputy head teacher expanding his repertoire of experiences and skills even further, which has allowed him to get his new job. I think it's wonderful to watch anyone go through that natural transformation of young person coming into a new job and watching them develop, watching them grow, watching them form friendships, both professional and personal, watching them develop into someone who or is going, who does provide a fantastic set of opportunities for young people here and who is going to provide a wonderful set of opportunities in his new school. It's immensely pleasing for me to see any member of our staff and any youngster in our community for that matter to grow through life. I love to meet youngsters after school at weekends whenever when they've left school and I have a chat to them in the street or in a restaurant or wherever and they tell me what they're up to and equally I'm immensely proud of the staff who go through the school and who grow and who develop into wonderful individuals. Normally we would have an assembly and a deputy head would get to say goodbye to their clan. Clearly we're not having clan assemblies just now because of the pandemic and we're doing all this stuff online and so I'm giving Sam the opportunity to say au revoir to uh, all his clan and to all the other friends and all the other colleagues and all the other pupils that he has so supported so well over the last 11 years. So Sam, over to you, Sam. Thanks very much. Um, it's really hard to put into words um, how much I appreciate everything um, and every opportunity that I've been given here. Um, to start, um, my wonderful colleagues that I've worked with, you, you've, it's been a privilege to work with every single member of staff that I've had the privilege to work with in, in my time here. Um, moving from the old school building to the new school building and seeing us grow as a school has, has been fantastic. And to be a part of that and to work with you doing that has been wonderful. You've been such a great support to me and I'll, I'll speak to you all more later today. Um, to all the pupils in Oban High School and in Tyree High School as well, because I know they're not on here, but it's it's been a privilege to get to work with you as well. Um, you've made every single day of my career in Oban High School uh, an absolute joy because watching you all grow and watching you all learn has just been such a wonderful experience as a teacher and I couldn't ask for any more than what you've given me and it's been such a great experience, um, especially in a subject like drama where you know, we ask you to do something that a lot of people are very nervous about doing with a Marmite subject and to see pupils get up there in front of each other confidently and share their skills is an absolute joy and it's something I'll hold forever. Um, for all the pupils in here, going forward in my clan in Ocean, as well as in all the other clans, my best advice for you is to, to take advantage of the wonderful opportunity you have being part of this school community. You're surrounded by 
the most amazing nurturing individuals, the teachers, the staff, the wider community who can give you everything you need to be successful in life. But whether that comes together or not is down to you. So if you can be excellent, which you can be, please try to be excellent because it will always benefit you. You'll be happier, you'll be healthier, and you'll be more successful as a result. Um, never stop pursuing what you want to be, what you want to do and what you want to be. I always wanted to be a teacher and I've had the, the privilege to grow as a teacher here, but there's no wrong path to how you get there. Whatever the right way for you is, it will be the right way and keep going. Whether you get the results academically in school you want or not, or whether you have the personal development in school or not that you want, there is always a way through to where you want to get to if you're willing to put the work in. Um, so thank you to absolutely everyone. Um, before I start blubbering, because I am a big softie, that's the secret that a lot of people don't know about me. Everyone else knows I'm a total big drama queen. But uh, I, I just, I, I will miss you all deeply. I, I really, really will. So thank you very, very much. Thanks very much to SPLT. And I hope that everyone has a wonderful day and wonderful weekend. And I'll see you all next week. Bye, everyone.